Hello and welcome to the Yellow Pad Diaries with your host Stephen Jones of Lightbox Home Southeastern Home Team. Each episode on our show we visit an investment grade property to discuss what repairs and updates are needed to push the appreciation to full market value. Today on our show, we are visiting a listed property in the Henderson Mill Elementary School District, zip code 30345. Due to its central location to the rest of the city, as well as being in the Lakeside High School District, this neighborhood is in demand, with retail values for renovated homes ranging from the mid-400s to the high-500s. So, what will it take to push this 2200 square foot house on a basement to maximum value? Let's take a look at the recently renovated and sold comps to find out. A quick review of the sold comps and the pending comps reveals the features needed in order to sell this house for top dollar once it's fully renovated. You'll notice the beautifully landscaped front yard, painted exterior, two-car garage, lovely front porch, thermal pane windows, hardwood floors, looks like they've been just finished, recessed lighting, open concept kitchen, with new appliances, granite countertops, new light fixtures, high ceilings, even a wine cooler, open concept living area, new fan, new fixtures, a lovely sunroom, beautiful master bath with a claw foot tub, glassed in shower enclosure with a rain shower head, finished basement, Looks like it's got another bedroom down there, nicely done bathrooms, and a very well designed but small backyard. To realize full market value, our subject property needs to be comparable to this property. All right, let's go inside of this house and figure out how much it's gonna cost to push the appreciation to full market value. Gentlemen, start your yellow pads. Okay. All right, we have like an entrance den here with wood paneling on it. It's a very long living area. The sunroom is very nice here. This could be a very good feature. So this is a galley style kitchen that needs a full update. It's not open to the rest of the living area either. And so you've got to take down at least four walls, move the kitchen, and then redo everything. Countertops, cabinets, appliances, the whole nine yards. The real issue with this house is the layout is hard to open up because right here in the middle of the house, you have the stairwell. And that is incredibly expensive to move. So you've got to work around it. And that is challenging and also pretty expensive. This particular house is that you need a true master suite. And to do that, we're going to have to take down this wall and turn that bedroom you were just in into the bathroom and master closet. So we're gonna have to replace all the plumbing in the house because it's cast iron and that's against code. What's more, we'll never be able to put a bathroom here in the basement for cheap because the plumbing exits the house at waist level instead of underneath your feet. After ripping out most of the drywall, we'll need to tear down and resupport four existing walls to make the new open concept living space and the master suite upstairs. Add a new roof, new windows, service the existing HVAC, replace all plumbing lines and drainage, bring the electrical system up to code, drywall everything in after passing inspection, install and refinish new floors, update all the bathrooms, move and replace the entire kitchen, paint inside and out, fence in the backyard, and account for the things we can't account for. A job totaling about $114,000. So this is a very typical situation for a house in this neighborhood where the homeowner has a lot of pride of ownership, has kept the house up, and yet it still needs a lot of updates to bring it to full market value. Next, we'll take a look at what that rehab number means for an investor like myself and the calculations they do when putting together an offer on this property. So, now that we know how much it will cost us to bring this property to full retail value, we can calculate how much a fair cash offer should be. Once fixed up, this property should sell for $510,000. It's currently listed for $430,000, a price that leaves investors like myself with only $80,000 equity to work with. 
After repairs, interest on the money borrowed to buy and renovate the property, closing costs, property taxes, liability insurance, holding costs such as utilities, and selling costs such as the commissions and buyer concessions, an investor will spend more than double the amount of equity handed over by the seller at list price, while taking on six months of headaches, surprises, permitting problems, and of course, the exposure to the fluctuations in the market. After taking into account the profit an investor needs to run their business and pay themselves for taking on all of this risk, we arrive at the true maximum cash offer for this property, $300,000. All right, so in a nutshell, that's why this property is not selling. At $430,000, the seller has taken the equity that an investor like myself, or even a homeowner who wants to live in the house, would need to do the renovation and then refi it into a 30-year fixed mortgage, or in my case, sell the property at a profit that pays my business for operations. Now, I hear it a lot in this neighborhood because of the pride of ownership. Steven, I don't want to leave money on the table, and I totally get that. But when it comes to a house like this, it's more like a craps table or a blackjack table. You gotta put money on the table before you can take money off of the table. And there's one in this neighborhood and you find yourself in a situation in which you own the house free and clear but it needs a ton of repairs and updates you only have three options you can list the property but you need to make sure you list at a price that gives people the equity they need to either invest in it or renovate it and live in it two you can take a cash offer from an investor like me this is quick easy low costs no commissions and third you absolutely can renovate it yourself but you're gonna need guidance and my company, Lightbox Homes, offers that guidance, a consultation service where we walk the home with you, tell you what repairs and updates need to be done to the home to bring it to full market value, and even provide for you a scope of work and a tracking software that allow you to compare apples to apples contractor bids on your renovation. Thank you for watching this episode of the Yellow Pad Diaries with your host, Stephen Jones. I hope you all learned something today and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of the Yellow Pad Diaries in the next month. Please like, follow, and share. Uh, and of course, look us up if you want to buy, sell, or invest in real estate. Here at Lightbox Homes, we offer people the brightest ideas in real estate.